In the case of a human physiology, you're sort of asking to um, produce an answer when you're not really that certain about the boundary conditions, about the geometry, um, and even in many cases about the physics. And one of the advantages we have with CFD is that we can look for sensitivity to some of those uncertainties. CFD really gives you the power to sort of look at the full range of variability that you might expect in, in the patients that are out there for any particular medical device or treatment. You may be able to design some treatments or devices that could work individually for patients that would help doctors address a wider range of, of patients. We would like to see as many of you as possible at the Converge CFD conference. The biomedical area is one that we are spending a lot of time in and the chance to sort of share with you what we're able to do currently and for you to share with each other what you're interested in working on, and what some of you are already working on, I think is a, is a valuable opportunity for, for all of us.